What's going on gamers? So today on the channel I wanted to take a look at this game called Little Kite. Now this was sent over to me by Restless Core so I could check it out for you guys and let you guys know if it's worth your hard earned money. But before we get started guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button with bell notifications turned on. That way you can get notified when I do another review. But without further ado, let's get into Little Kite for your Nintendo Switch. Little Kite is a point-and-click story-driven adventure in which the game highlights problems of a struggling family in which one person is given up and the other tries to correct mistakes of the past. So Mary and her son Andrew are the main characters in the game and you start out playing as Mary. Well Mary actually remarried a second time after the death of her first husband to a man named Oliver and Oliver is consumed by a lot of daily issues and a lot of daily problems and he is a pretty bad drunk and he's really abusive. So the story is part of a struggling woman and a struggling her struggling son and the heartache and the pain that they're going through and you have to help them figure out a way to get out of this destructive relationship so there are technically two locations in this game there is the real world and Andrew's fantasy world and I thought that was a really interesting twist in the game once you get to that point so, you know, I really like the story. I like the way that it's written. I do. I think that it's really interesting and it definitely sets the tone. But just be aware that it does have some mature content. Um, the way that the developers put it, it may contain content not appropriate for all ages. So with point and click adventures, you will have some puzzle elements. Um, you know, like I had to open up this wooden chest and I had to make sure all the lines connected and that was a pretty easy puzzle It's right towards the beginning of the game And so just keep in mind that there is going to be some light puzzle elements with different difficulties in this game And I think that's pretty cool now with the visuals. I really like this art style I think this art style is really neat. It's like storybook, you know, maybe watercolor base it's pretty cool. I like it. It's not, not going to win any awards and graphics, obviously, but it's a neat art style. It's like, you know, playing a storybook. Now, with the sound and the, the ambiance of it and the music definitely sets the tone of the game. The music is somewhat repetitive, but I didn't find myself getting annoyed with it because I felt like it set the tone of the scene that I was in and I was enjoying it. It's not too bad. Now, Little Kite did release, however, back in September 14th of 2017 on Steam. So it's been out for a while. You know, if you have a Steam account, you might have checked it out already. But it is going to release for the Nintendo Switch on March 25th of 2021. I don't know why it took so long to come over here. But it is brought to us. The developer is Innate Studios. And they've done some pretty good work here, you know. Um, it is on Steam, however, for... I think it's $299, so it's or two, excuse me, $279 with 60% off right now. So it is pretty cheap over there. However, the Nintendo Switch version is $999. So, like I said, March 25th uh, for $999, which is a little bit high in my opinion, that being that it's on Steam for $279 right now, it'd be hard for me to recommend purchasing this game for $999. But keep in mind, you can't take it with you wherever you go if you just own the Steam version. So keep that in mind, guys, with every Nintendo Switch game we could take it with us wherever we go. So do I recommend this game? If you like point-and-click adventure games with some maybe relatable issues going on in the game, this isn't the fantasy games that we're used to playing that are these wild characters in these wild worlds. This is a game that could hit home to a lot of people. So if you like this kind of stuff that you can maybe relate to and can connect with, then this is right up your alley. This game isn't really too bad, but would I spend the $9.99 for the Nintendo Switch version? Probably not. I'd probably run over to Steam. Even though I couldn't take it with me on the go, I'd probably go over to Steam and purchase it over there. So maybe wait until it goes on sale, guys. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. I really appreciate it. And if you guys like this video, make sure to share it with a buddy. That helps the channel out tremendously. And also hit that subscribe button. We are getting really close to 600 subs. And the next thing you know, we'll be at 
at a thousand subs. So that's my goal this year is to hit a thousand subs on this channel. And it is coming up sooner than I think. It's been a wild ride. It's been really fun. I love checking out these games from these indie developers. If I even if I don't really necessarily enjoy them or they're not really my thing, I am just so thankful that these indie developers are sending me these codes so I can check them out for you guys and give you guys my honest opinion because that's what it's all about. I love playing games and I love sharing my opinion with you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.